Meghan Markle's sparkle really shines on Vogue. The Duchess of Sussex shared a speech with Immaculate High School's graduating seniors. It wasn't the one she originally planned, which was cheerful and congratulatory. But as the country roiled over the death of George Floyd, she knew she couldn't stay silent. So, dressed in a plain white shirt with a paired back ponytail, the Duchess delivered an emotional address against a blank wall. She emphasized that black lives mattered. She shared her own painful memories growing up as a biracial child during the 1992 Los Angeles riots, an event she said was also triggered by a senseless act of racism. I remember the curfew, and I remember rushing back home and on that drive home seeing ash fall from the sky and smelling the smoke and seeing the smoke billow out of buildings, she recoiled. Then, she urged action, I know that this is not the graduation that you envisioned. And this is not the celebration that you imagined. But I also know that there's a way for us to reframe this for you and to not see this as the end of something. But instead to see this as the beginning of you harnessing all the work, all the values, and all the skills that you have embedded over the last few years. Traditionally, the UK press is given exclusive media access to royal events and official engagements. Earlier this year, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their intention to provide more diverse and open access to their work, and they stuck by their word. Days later, it emerged that Harry and Markel planned to get involved with the Black Lives Matter movement. They are talking to community leaders and grassroots advocates to listen, learn, and figure out how they can be most impactful. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their decision to step back from royal life on the 8th of January, they did so with this message. After many months of reflection and internal discussion, we have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. While within this institution was wishful thinking, a week later, Buckingham Palace stated the couple no longer represented the monarchy, or a progressive new role, it seems, was not. If the Immaculate Heart speech was any indication, the world is about to see the new dawn of Meghan Markel. Megan want one of the first things we started talking about when we met was just the different things that we wanted to do in the world and how passionate we were about seeing change. However, despite her significant time on the world stage, it did seem like Mark Hell, and her sparkle, had been suppressed. Once upon a time, she was a UN. Women advocate for women's political participation and leadership. She was an outspoken critic of Donald Trump, calling him a misogynist. The members of the monarchy must go through great lengths to remain apolitical. As head of state, the Queen does not vote in elections and has to remain strictly neutral with respect to political matters. The feeling is that the Windsors must represent all of the United Kingdom and, as unelected public officials, cannot use their power for undue influence. Markel endured a minor scandal when a reporter tweeted. They later clarified she was interested and very measured, not political at all. The damage, however, was done. If Markel was still part of the royal family, could she have made the same passionate speech about Black Lives Matter? Now the largest civil rights movement in history? Or would it have been reduced to a watered down statement, or social media post, of support? That's now a mere hypothetical question. With a return freedom of self-expression, an expanded global platform, and a new zero engagement policy with several British tabloids. Mark Helen no longer needs to abide by the monarchy's constraints uniformly. She can support Black Lives Matter or any cause of her choosing. She can talk to any media outlet she wants. She can be politically outspoken, and, rumor has it, come the 2020 election, she will be. The Duke and Duchess haven't revealed their full plans for the Black Lives Matter movement yet. But it does seem like we've arrived at the moment when Meghan Markel, and her sparkle, can truly shine. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.